Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm, I'm Mrs. Binat, and I appreciate I appreciate you coming out tonight. I know you have very busy schedules, and um, I, I promise not to take too much of your time tonight, but it's important that we, we come together just for a few minutes to talk a little bit about expectations as we move forward into semester two. I'd like to just take a moment um, to welcome our superintendent, Dr. McIntyre is here, our chairman of our school committee, Mr. Walsh is here, um, our assistant principals, Mr. McGillivray and Mr. Gustavo, as well as our guidance director, Lee, who have all been out in the lobby welcoming you. And we also have some support tonight from uh, Mrs. Shea, Mrs. McIntosh, and Ms. Barrows um, with regard to um, the contracts that are out in the lobby. But I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk with you about why this is important, why we need to um, just spend a few minutes talking about a, a successful second semester, a successful senior week, and um, just a reminder about student expectations um, as we move forward, which, which are expectations that aren't any different than what we expect of our students every day, and I'm sure what you expect of your students as well. Um, but Sometimes, as students progress into the second semester, the weather gets better, the college acceptances have come in. It becomes a very, a very exciting time of year, a time of year of celebration, a time that we all come together and have many, many, um, many events to commemorate the dedication of our students, their commitment to academic achievement, to all that they've devoted to Milford High School, um, to, to all the schools that they have attended throughout their 12 years in Milford. And we have a lot planned for our seniors as they progress um, towards the end of their high school career. And we want to make sure that all of our events are held with honor, with dignity, and that students' behavior is consistent with our core values for student learning. In our school improvement plan, there, there is a plan. Um, our school uh, council has worked on this, uh, worked on it last year. Um, this has continued into this year. And this is part of who we are as a school in our efforts to improve and ensure that the celebrations we have honor our seniors, are consistent with the expectations, behavioral expectations, that are in keeping with our core values, and that ensure safety in the school community for all. Now, all, all, all of you folks know, I'm sure, that the preschool is housed in the high school, the central administration is housed in the high school, the Office of Special Education is in the high school, the Community Use Program is in the high school. There's around 1,500 people in this building every day. And as a school community, we're all charged with safety and making sure that we have a school where people, where students come to school and people come to work, and it's a safe school community. And we have that, and we're proud of that. We need to ensure we have that every day. There can never be a day where student behavior rises to a place where there is a situation in the building that would be, that is unsafe for the students and for the staff. So to that end, we come together tonight to just as a reminder about expectations for student behavior. So before I move into the contract, um, I want to mention to you, and I, and I think I've talked to some seniors and they've been made aware of this in some of their um, college visits um, with their colleges and in conversation with admissions, but when students are accepted to a college or a university, there is always an expectation that that acceptance, the student's acceptance and their academic record and record of behavior remains consistent with where it was at the time of the acceptance and if that changes, if academic achievement changes, if a student's schedule changes to a place where maybe they have a number of honors or AP courses and that changes uh, levels and, and grades start to slip, 
as well as any issues with behavior or conduct, the college always reserves the right to rescind that acceptance because the student's academic achievement in behavior is no longer consistent with what it was when they were accepted. So these are just a couple of, of examples from universities making it very clear to students that we accepted you under a certain academic and behavioral profile and the expectation is that they, you will continue that and if that changes that they can then reserve that right. So I don't want to I don't want to see any student make a poor choice second semester senior year at a time of celebration and honor and joy and happiness that leads to any kind of problem for them in terms of their college acceptances, their scholarships and so forth. So I ask that all of our students please please remember that you are accepted under a certain profile and you need to maintain that moving forward. Every year, the National, excuse me, every 10 years, the National Association um, does a, uh, a study of colleges and universities, and they talk about well, why, what would be a reason that a college would actually rescind an acceptance. So you can see this is fall of 2008. The next report will be coming out in 18. But approximately a third of the time, an offer of admission is rescinded for conduct. So again, please. Um, Please be mindful that as we go forward, my expectation is that our senior week activities are in the spirit of honor and pride and dignity for our school community. The seniors' last day of classes is the 19th of May. That will be a regular school day for the seniors. All students will be in class that day. Um, we are, I am in conversation um, with the student leadership about a special way that we can commemorate the seniors last day uh, we're still in conversation about that because we do want to celebrate and honor um, the seniors last day and senior week and graduation and have all the festivities that the students have worked so hard to earn but it's also important that every that we all remember that these are privileges going to the prom is a privilege going to the athletic awards night is a privilege going to senior night is a privilege Walking in graduation is a privilege, and those are privileges that students earn through compliance and good conduct and honor and dignity and pride in representing us um, in the way that they always have. So to that end, I will show you a copy of the, um, of the senior contract. And again, there, there's nothing contained in the senior contract that isn't something that is expected of students at all times and that is in our handbook. So students agree not to disrupt the learning environment or ensure respect for faculty, students, and staff. Excuse me. To attend all classes on the last day of school, to not be disruptive on the campus at any point approaching or during senior week graduation, to not consume or be in possession of any alcohol or drugs, to, no, the students are subject to removal from all senior week activities. If there is an infraction that results in suspension or expulsion or referral to authorities, um, participation again in the senior week activities is a privilege that students have earned through their behavior, through being in compliance with attendance, and through their academic achievement. Students must attend all scheduled graduation uh, rehearsals and events that lead up to graduation that are part of preparation for commencement exercises. Students have to pay any outstanding fees. This is a contract that you will receive a copy of this evening. Uh, they are out in the lobby. I ask that you review the contract, parents, with your student, please, um, and sign the contract. You're welcome to take it with you tonight if you'd like to review it at home and return it um, tomorrow. But in order for students to participate in the senior week activities, the contract must be returned. Does anyone have any questions? 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll be out in the lobby. Uh, the assistant principals are out in the lobby. We do have it set up in alphabetical order. Um, you have a contract with your, your name on it. And um, if, if you would proceed to the lobby and pick up your contract, I will meet you out there in case you have any questions. Thank you very much for being here.